Yo, what it do, Sneaker Log? It's your boy Sneaker Box. I was checking back in with another new sneaker video, man. Hopefully, everybody been cool since the last video. And this right here is something I want to put up on the channel real quick. It is the Air Jordan 10 Retro in this classic original colorway. This right here is the Shadow colorway. Shadow 10s. Pretty sure y'all know what these are. Um, dope shoe, without a doubt. Had to pick these up. Add them to collection. And what I'm going to do is give y'all a quick overview of the shoe, point out things that I like about the sneaker, give y'all a shot to do the same at the end. And y'all already know how to do it, so let's just jump right into it. As I stated, this is the Air Jordan 10 Shadow, and the shoe right here is dope, originally released back in, what year was that, 94? I think it was 94, or maybe it was 95, 95, 95 when these dropped, and this is the year when Jordan... Uh, return back to the NBA after a little short hiatus, whatever you want to call it. He had briefly retired and he returned that season. And uh, this is one of the original colorways. This is the one that he wore. Actually, the one that he wore, um, if I was to talk about differences between this one and the original, uh, the one that he wore had a 45. And that's what I was hoping that they would do with this retro when they brought it back. Now, I know they did a pair like a few years ago. Actually, it's been a while. I think that was like the CDP pack. That could be like 10 years. Uh, by now, it could have been like a decade ago. That's crazy. Uh, I think it was a CDP pack, though. They had brought out those uh, or a version of them. And they had a 23 on the side, which was cool. But I always wanted them to bring it back with the 45 on the side like his pair. But this time, it just kind of went with the... You know, the regular version of the shoe that released out to the public. And that's cool. That's still cool. Um, what do I like about the shoe? I like the 10 in general. The 10 is a dope shoe. The 10 has a very cool silhouette. Silhouette kind of has that boot look to it, kind of, to a degree, but still functionable as a basketball shoe. Um the quality on the shoe is dope. He's got this simple, it's a decent quality, uh, durable quality of new book. It's not nothing crazy, but it's pretty, pretty close to the original. Uh, I'm not sure how well this this is gonna do as far as like outdoor. If you wear it, you know what I'm saying in like some bad weather, it should be able to hold up. It looks like it could. Um, I know. The originals, the OGs, were just a real good quality. and um, But this is pretty close to them, so they did a good job with this one. Let's look at the front. The front, you see that leather up there by the lace that borders it. You see the lace locks. The, not lace locks, the, la the lace holes, loops, I should say. You see the lace loops, and you see the black laces, the elastic bands, on the laces to you know lock down the foot here's the medial view of the shoe pretty simple man you got, to, got that shadow gray and black that pretty much dominates this entire shoe out one of the features i like on the shoe is that embossed jordan on the 10 with the 23 on the tongue uh the 10 i like how they you know every jordan most of them have a little different um like fonts or, you know, styles that they'll use as far as with text, with the uh, text on the shoe. And uh, this one, I like how they did that because it's embossed in the tongue with the 2-3. And the bottom, we know how the bottom goes. The, um have the accomplishments that he had up until 94. So, it's dope. See the red jump man right there. On the bottom, let's look at the back. On the back, you got the lace, not lace, what I'm talking about, lace, the heel tab. And then you have the red jump man as well. Big red jump man. Yeah, man, solid shoe all together. I mean, it's it's a it's a dark colored Jordan. Um, I do have another one in my collection. I pulled out the ball for y'all. This is the then we're calling these Stealth, Stealth 10. It's pretty much the same quality 
Uh, or maybe I would say that the shadow is better, but it's a decent quality, very good quality. And, um, yeah, this shoe came out a while back. I don't think I did a video on those. But um, it's cool to add a color like this with the 10 because I just don't have that many. I have a few 10s in the collection, but I don't really have a lot of dark colored pairs. So this is, this is a cool one to rock, and it's definitely going to get wear for me. Let's take it over here to the box. And, well, here's the box top. You see Jordan. They kind of switched it up with this box. Um, I can't. I didn't have original 10s back in the day, so I can't really remember if this is an original like as far as with the style of the box, but it's different from what they've been doing as far as with tins. So I like that. And it has that original feel to it. Um, it just kind of has that, you know, um, style to it, I should say. So here's the box sticker, dark shadow, true red and black. And you see the box sticker price of 190. So Nike Air branding on there. Also, I forgot to show y'all on the, and so, I don't know, even know if it's going to show on the camera, but, nah, it ain't showing. Anyway, if you could see it, it would say Nike Air on the insole when I looked down in there. So, I thought that was cool, too. Very true to the original, for real. Like, they did a good job with these. Um, I was able to get these. On, well, actually, I didn't get them on launch date because they dropped these at a day earlier from the usual. But I got them probably what the day after they was they was in stores. They didn't really move crazy online like that, so I guess they made a bunch of pairs, and I was able to just walk in the store. Um, the shop I went to had about two pairs when I got there, so um, I got a decent pair, and. Um, I got mine for under retail, man. I got a little discount at the register. So, you know what I'm saying? That helped me out. Uh, definitely a shoe that I knew I wanted from shit when I first saw that they were coming out this year. So, I think they were rumored last year or a year in the past. I can't remember. But they finally dropped them. And I don't care. Like, I got them for a discount. So, I'm not really going to. Wasn't really no reason for me to sit on them. They may drop the price later on them down the line. I don't know. Don't really care. Um, maybe. I don't even think I'll double up on these or nothing like that. But, um, hey, I'm glad I got my pair. Let me know if you was able to get yours. Um, they should have been easy, as I stated. I got them after the lunch, so I don't think people were really going crazy over them like that. I didn't want to put out some other shoes because this shoe pretty much kind of... Uh, kind of uh finished the uh hunt i was on for my favorite original colorways of the jordan 10 uh right here and I, i'm sure i did a video on these already these are the double nickels from I can't remember when they dropped a couple years ago something like that uh these are the double nickels 45 on the side that's how what i wanted to be on those shadows Shadow tins, but they didn't do that. But these are the double nickels. Go check out that video in case you missed it. I put out on them. And also, I had this shoe that I'm hearing is coming out this year. I heard it was a rumor last year as well. But these are the steel tins. Uh, dope shoe, man. The original colorway. This is the first colorway that I had saw of the Jordan tins when they originally released. And, uh, it's a dope shoe, but I'm hearing that they're bringing these back out again. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to grab a pair. I already have these. And these these are decent quality, man. Good quality shoe. Let me know which one y'all like. I'm going to pull them all out, though. Out of all these tens, I'm not even going to pull out them still. They're still a dope. I'm just going to ask this question as far as for the originals. Do you like the, the Shadow? 10 or do you like the double nickel joints chicago whatever you want to call them or you like the steel tens let me know down in the comment box and what y'all think about these shadows in general shadow tens do you like them did you pick them up are you feeling them what do you like about them satisfied with your purchase all that good stuff 
And uh, that's it. That's all I have for this video. I appreciate the view as always. And if you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button. And also hit that thumbs up button for your boy. Like the video. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, you know, stay tuned for more. Hit that notification bell also so you can get notified when I drop new stuff on the channel. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment though. Leave me a comment down in the comment box. Shit, if it's just to say what's up, hey, say what's up. But leave me a comment on these joints right here, man. I want to know what y'all think about them. And are y'all rocking with them or anything like that. But in the meantime, in between time, y'all stay cool. Check it out. Always remember, copy what you like. Now with they hype, stay up. Peace.